What's the deal? What's the deal, y'all? It's y'all boy, Battle Rap Chuck 92. Make sure y'all subscribe to that channel. All right. Now, um, I'm just, you know what I'm saying here, and, um, you know, what Norbs um, was actually like, you know, talking about, you know, with like the Chrome 23. With the, um, I don't know what the hell that is. I just hear like, you know what I'm saying, Norbs, you know what I'm saying, talking about like the, um, you know, like about the Chrome 23 card, about like, um, you know, fans not supporting it and things like that. Um, t only to a certain extent, I understand, you know what I'm saying, like where, you know, he's, um, he's uh, coming from, you know what I'm saying, like I understand. Well, only certain things so when he's talking about the people like the dj academic people and you know what i'm saying just people that's not up in like the battle rap culture at all um dj Gotti did like go like so viral to the point where he even reached you know what i'm saying to them but the thing with that is is just you know i just always like look at like battle rap has kind of like been like that for a while Battle rap has always been a very, very small world. So when it gets to somewhere else, it actually goes like it actually goes viral. Like for instance, I bet you, I bet you, it is at least by like two to three battle rap bloggers that you know what I'm saying that blogged about uh, Jordan Poole getting fired on and shit by Draymond Green. I bet you that. But I bet you on like the rest of their channels, they ain't said a, they ain't said one goddamn thing about basketball. See, when it comes to, like, YouTube, period, people are very, very quick to click into the negative shit before the positive shit anyway. That's just, like, what happens. That's just how shit goes. So even, like, when we actually get, like, to the Remy card, okay. You had C3 go against First Lady Flames, right? Okay, whoop de -doo. Um, First Lady Flames having mic issues and... C3, she was just okay. You know what I mean? So that battle became like lackluster. Um, and then when you get to the second battle, which was Rosenberg Raw and Shayna Ashley, you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody and their mama just swore up and down. Shayna Ashley just beat the dog shit out of Rosenberg. And that's not true. I just like I just don't believe that. I had Rosenberg Raw getting kind of like a two-one edge. She definitely looks like she definitely kind of like wiped the floor with him in the first round. But then especially her third round, like she didn't really like, you know what I'm saying? She didn't go for the kill. You know what I'm saying? I guess people, I guess people and her included already thought that they got it too well. But salute to uh, uh, Shanna Ashley. Most people do got you winning. But I do got Rosenberg Raw winning two-one. Everybody was mad at Rosenberg Raw performance. But looking at Rosenberg Raw, Rosenberg Raw, damn three rounds was better than anything that damn Charlie Clips and Award said together. I won't even go. I, I sat back and watched that battle again today. I am not watching that battle. No, never. That battle does not have no replay value. Charlie Clips, like Charlie Clips did win that battle. But that battle don't have no damn replay value. Charlie Clips and Award does not have no replay value at all at all so then we go to Gigi Gotti and then we go to Easy the Black Captain well if you like listen to like people of like the A-Verbs and people of like like the uh, Piper Boy Williams and you know what I'm saying and people like even like you can even go towards like to the three lettermans and people like that they actually recap the battle and most of them actually have this as a very very good battle the battle was dope people were recapping it people recap the battles when you watch certain battles that has at least like six battles on it, people going to talk about at least two or three. That was like a part of the highlights, two or three battles that was actually good, two or three battles that's actually a classic. People are going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, like stuff like that. But then also when you like look at Remy, Remy my car, Remy, like Remy Ma had only four battles and them four battles, you had to pay $60 for four damn battles. But it's all good because, you know, one nothing gonna stop me, you know what I'm saying, from paying sixty dollars to watch that to like to watch them battles anyway. But we can't sit here and act like it just did all that. It's like it's like if if 
like let's just say max out three right let's just say max out three you know what i'm saying you have the calico performance you have the goods performance you have the verb performance you have the a water uh, performance ill will hitman holla big k you had all them performances right but like let's just say one battle it was one battle with other superstars on it and another superstar pulled out paperwork on that person and that paperwork could be very very like true that's going to go over other people battles it's going to overshadow other like it's going to overshadow other people battles because of the moment that's just you know what i'm saying like that's just what it is that's just what it is so i you know what i'm saying so when you so i just feel like when norb say that i know i like like i know for a damn fact the the uh, you know what i'm saying the people that blog on battle rap is actually like recapping the event i know like i'm saying like i know that for sure the people that could possibly be like the like the people that's possibly not recapping the events are the people that's actually not battle rap fans and they're talking about remy my situation and like and all that other stuff with divorces and easy to block captain and people like that that's because that's going out to a whole nother world to where that world i don't even think that they, they don't even watch battle rap but it goes for the same thing with Jordan Poole. It's the same thing. It goes to the same thing with other people. Like when other people like have like crucial, like bad situations in football, basketball, baseball. Next thing you know, a battle rap blogger is talking about the negative shit that happened in basketball, baseball, and football. It go like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's the same thing. I recapped it. I recapped, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying, like that battle. I recapped all, like I recapped all four battles, all four. So, you know, um, I, so like it's like I, I get what Norbs is saying to an extent as far as like when it comes to the world I know Norbs is probably like looking at it like man like what like you know like all y'all people that's like blogging about this y'all knew Remy Ma had an event but then all of a sudden you guys just want to blog about the geeky thing well psh, hate to tell you though um, Norbs it always has been like that and I'm not saying it can't change but it's been like that for a while bro it been like that for a while, you know what I'm saying? With people always paying attention to the negative shit. It always been like that, bro. But you know, that's all I really like want to like really like speak on, you know what I'm saying, with like that whole situation. But this y'all boy, Battle Rap Chuck 92, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But Norbs, hey man, half of that stuff ain't true. But I do understand some of the points that you're saying, though. The people that's not the Battle Rap fans. Go on.